I was just wondering, have you guys ever seen the movie Titanic? I never did, largely to do with the fact that I was always terrified of water as a kid. I remember watching the Boxing Day tsunamis on TV and I was just so terrified that this huge body of water could go through a city and completely destroy it. I think I can safely say that water is one of the strongest forces on this planet. No man can control it. So when I was travelling down to Taupo, down to the mount the other day, I was completely fascinated by these hydro dams. And I'm not sure if you've ever seen them, but pretty much they stop the river in its path. This huge body of water, sort of like a lake, gets built up because this strong concrete wall is holding it in place. So on one side, you've got a whole body of water, and on the other side, the water goes through to create electricity or power, which, like, electrifies our light bulbs or our microwaves. Now, it might sound weird, but these hydro dams really do fascinate me. This, this strong force that I was, always a, I was always afraid of, this water, is stopped and goes no further with this concrete wall. I don't know about you, but people face fear in their mind every day. Fear of failure, fear of sickness or death, fear of never accomplishing what we always set out to. It seems like such a strong force, something that can devastate us, something that can hold us back. However, when our fears encounter God, he is like a concrete wall and lets them go no further. Now at Oxygen, we don't not believe in fear, but we believe in a God that is bigger. We believe in a God that is stronger. We believe that when our fears go through the filter of God, that they're no longer weaknesses or strongholds to hold us back, but God transforms them into power. Just like the water going through the hydro dam, we become a power and encouragement to, and testimonies to our communities that we, through God, are overcomers. In 2 Corinthians, there's this guy called Paul, and Paul's a sort of up there kind of dude with God. Uh, Paul writes a lot of the Bible, like he's one of the top dogs. Anyway, he talks about a weakness that he has. He calls it a thorn in his flesh. Now, we don't really know what it is because he doesn't tell us. It could have been a physical illness or weakness, or it could have been a sin that he couldn't get over, or it could have been a fear. It could have been a fear. And, but God, tell, God tells them something really interesting. He says, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in your weakness. Therefore, Paul says, I will boast all the more gladly in my weakness so that Christ's power may rest upon me. So I'll say it again. And at Oxygen, we don't not believe in fear. But we believe in a God that's bigger and stronger, that can take our weakness and provide his strength so that we may become powerful. At Oxygen, we're not fearful, but we're fearless.